I'm Jenny Ford. Welcome to your abdominal routine. We're gonna go ahead and start right here in the sitting position. So you've got your feet pointing out this way. You're gonna curl that pelvis under. Start to really, really let those abdominals engage. You're gonna suck them in nice and tight. We're gonna practice what is called a V-sit. For now, you're gonna keep your hands right here under your thighs. But you're gonna pick those heels up off the ground. You're gonna squeeze and hold. Just hold it here for a moment. Good. Go ahead and bring those heels back down to the ground. Just roll up. Good. Just gonna kind of get that motion. Get ready. You're gonna start rolling it back again. Keep that pelvis tucked under. Pick up those heels off the floor. Good. Now when you're ready, you can start to take the hands out from behind the thighs. If that's too much, you can always hold on. That's okay. So you're gonna hold, squeeze in. Hold here for a little bit longer. Good. All right. Go ahead and roll it back up. Let's try that one more time. Inhale, exhale, roll back, pick up those heels. If you're ready, let go. You're gonna really start to work and feel that in the abdominals. Good. Hold it here. Now sometimes for a challenge, you can also pick those heels up a little further. Let gravity really work. Good. Hold it here. Good, heels come down, roll up. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, exhale, and roll back. Here we go, pick up those heels. Remember, if you're ready, you're gonna release those hands. Hold it here, pick up the feet a little bit higher. Hold it here, please. Just really, I really want you to get the feel of this, what a V-sit feels like. Because we're just gonna add it into our next exercise. Four more. Squeeze those abdominals in tight. Two more. Heels come down, roll it up. Now, for the next one, you're gonna go ahead and roll all the way back. Good. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the hands right here behind the head. You're gonna roll up, but you're gonna keep the heels up off the floor and go into a V-sit. You're gonna roll up, hands come forward, squeeze and hold. Now, I don't want you to let your feet touch the ground. You're just gonna squeeze and hold, go ahead and roll back down. Good, you ready? We're gonna speed it up. Let's roll it up. Up, squeeze and hold. Good. Go ahead and roll it back down. Woo! Here we go. Squeeze and hold up. Roll it up. Hold, hold. If you need to, feet can come to the ground, but if not, just take it back down. Let's go. Roll up. Woo! Balance and squeeze and hold. Abdominals are squeezed in nice and tight, knees close together. Go ahead and roll it back. Good. Here we go. Roll it up. Woo! Balance, balance. Good, looks good. Hold it here, please. Woo! Got a few more, roll it back right now. Ready, here we go. Roll it up. Balance, squeeze and hold. Roll it down. Last one, roll it up. By now you should really be feeling it. Hold it here a little bit longer. Good. Go ahead and bring the heels down to the ground. Very nice, okay. Get your self situated. You can use a weight for this one, or you don't have to. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's called a seated oblique twist. You're gonna roll back, you're gonna twist to the side, you're gonna come center, you're gonna come up. So you're gonna roll back, twist, center, and up. I'm gonna go ahead and add a five pound weight, which is optional. Keep that pelvis tucked under. Let's go, roll it back. Twist to the side, twist center, roll it all up, good. Now roll back, we're gonna go the opposite way. Twist to the side, come center, roll it up. Good, roll back. See if you can go a little deeper, roll twist to the side, come center, and up. Make sure to roll back, but keep those shoulders Nice and strong, roll up. Think about good posture, roll back. Good, twist, come center, roll up, roll it back. How are you, you doing okay? Twist, come center, and come up, good. Just a few more. So you're gonna just freeze and hold back, twist, center, and up. We're really working those obliques, go back. You know it by now, twist, Center, how about just two more? Roll it back, back, center, twist, back to center, come up, 
Good. Last one. Back. Twist. Come center. All the way up. Good. Go ahead and get rid of that weight. You're going to go ahead and roll it back all the way. We're going to go right into the traditional crunches. Up. Down. Keep that pelvis tucked under. Good. Let's go. Eight. Squeeze and hold. Little pause at the top. Nice. Ooh. All right, let's change it up a little bit. You're gonna pulse at the top for three. Three, high, higher, highest, and down. So you're really trying to pull higher, higher, highest. Good, good. Nice. Really challenge yourself. Squeeze that abdominals right into the spine. Good, here we go. High, higher, highest. Nice work. Last one, like this. Back to singles, up, down. Up, down. Ooh, good. Nice job. Hold it here. Three more. Two more, okay, good. Hands come down by the hips. Feet come up off the floor. Legs at a 90 degree, degree angle. You're gonna start to pull those hips in. It's a small movement. We're doing a reverse crunch here. Good. Just really let the abdominals do the work. Don't swing the legs in. Just let your abdominals pull those legs in. Good. Small movement. You're lifting those hips up off the floor. Good job. Woo. Nice job. Okay. Pulse in. Hold it in. Hold it in. Eight. A little small. Seven. Ooh. Six. Good job. Five. Come on. Four more. Three. Two more. Let's take it back to single. Eight. Seven. Small movement. Six. Good job. Five more. Come on. Four. Three. All right. Two more. Now you're gonna bring the legs up vertical. Kick them back right up to the top. Good. Hands behind the head. You're gonna squeeze up, down, up, down. Really freeze at the top. Up, down. Woo, let's go, let's go. Come on. Squeeze at the top. Good job. All right, good job. Four more that we're gonna take. Two more of that left hand. Reach across. Then you're gonna switch, reach across. So you're switching, right, left. Right, reaches across. Left, reaches across. Really try to get those shoulder blades up off the floor. Good. Come on, let's go. Eight more. Seven, nice job. Six, come on. Five, all right. Four more. Three. Two, we're gonna go back to center. Hands behind the head, up, down. Up, down, up, good. Squeeze at the top. Woo! Four more here. Three, two. We're gonna pull to the top for three, last set. Three, two, and then down. So you go high, higher, highest. Nice, up, 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 good. Woo! Okay, hold at the top and pull for eight. Eight, seven, little pulses, six, five, four, three, two, release. Good work. All right, I want you to roll up. You're gonna flip over completely. I want you to lay all the way back down to the ground. We're going into a Superman. So hips are on the floor. You've extended your toes. You're gonna extend those hands nice and long. Good, now, you're gonna pick up your foot that's closest to the TV or computer, and you're gonna pick up the opposite hand. You're gonna squeeze and hold. But I want you to really keep that head down. Go ahead and switch. So we're going slow for now. Go ahead and switch. So you pick up opposite hand, opposite leg. Good. Four, three, go ahead and switch. Nice job. So you've got your right hand up, your left leg up, or opposite way. Switch, here we go. Squeeze and hold. Good. Really working into that back. Go ahead and squeeze it, hold. Switch. Good. 
All right. Both hands, both legs come up. Eight. Just seven. Squeeze at the top. Six. Nice job. Four. Three. You got it. Two more. Hold at the top. Stretch nice and long, wall to wall. Challenge yourself. Squeeze and hold. Head down. Good. Keep it here. Woo. Feet close together, right? Nice job. All right, good job. Go ahead and push up. You're going to get into a push up position. You're going to extend that leg out. Let's extend your opposite leg. So you're right in a push up position. You're going to squeeze and hold here. But we're going to change it up a little bit. You're going to take your right knee. You're going to arch that back to the ceiling. You're going to squeeze and hold in. If you're not sure, go ahead and just watch me this first time. You can bend the knee in, arch the back up, squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Good. Good. Extend the leg back out. Now you're going to pick up that opposite knee, your left knee. Bring it in. You're going to arch that back up to the ceiling. Squeeze and hold. Extend the leg back out. Hold your plank. Bend the right knee in. Arch the back to the ceiling. Squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Go ahead and release. Extend back out. Switch the left knee. Bend the knee in. Hold it here, hold it here. Woo! Extend it back out. Just hold your plank. We're gonna finish out strong here, okay? Wrists are right underneath the shoulders. Woo! Four, three, two, knees come down. Good. Last exercise. Wrists right underneath the shoulders. You're in a box position. You're gonna extend out that right leg. Left arm. You're doing opposite arms. So you are extending your right leg and your left arm. So squeeze it, hold it nice and long. Good, bring it in, go ahead and switch. You're gonna extend that right arm, left leg. Really try to challenge yourself. Extend nice and long. Hold it here. Good. Go ahead and come down. Switch sides. So you're picking up your left arm, right leg. Can you extend those legs and arms out? Reach nice and long. Hold it here. Good. Bring the arms in, legs in. Switch sides last time. Right arm, left leg. Point those toes. You're reaching nice and long. Keep it here, almost there. Bring it in, good. Widen the knees, sit back, walk those hands out. Very nice. Stretch it out. Walk the hands forward, head down to the floor. Ooh, feels good. All right, good, walk the hands in. Very good job. Thanks so much for joining me for abdominals. Hope to see you again soon.